Kansas City Southern GP9. I'm take a look at these uh, photographs. Get a photograph of what kind of locomotive you want to build. This is the 654. Uh, I just can't see Southern GP9 Phase 3. I'm going to look at some of these detailed parts of where, where I'm going to put build this locomotive with. Um, I haven't got a hold of the stacks yet or the um, spark arresters yet, if you can see on the photograph. Uh, take a look at these parts on the um, from the body kit. If you can see, you can see that the um, it's made of three different parts for the fans. You can look at all the details on the sprue. Um, you look at here. Here's the top part of the fan. You look on here. This is the steps right here, it's, which is just a see-through. If you can see that. Take the part of the fans here. It comes in three pieces. Here's the top part. Here's the 36 inch fans, 140 inch fan, which goes to the dynamic brakes. Here's the blades for the fans. And here's the lower half. Here we get three different uh, lights. If you see right here, these are three different lights you get. You got your winterized hatch, your sun shades. Here's the brake, air brake, windshield wipers. The lift rings are here, and there's door handles. The door here's door handles, winterized hatch and sun shades. Here's windshield wipers. Here's your horn. Your bells here. And these are your footboards. Now here are these lift rings or eye bolts. I'm going to place these with brass. And I'm also going to place the grab iron with brass. They're here. Right here, I guess I don't know what these are. I'm have to look up on the instructions. Now let's take a look at the um, top of the um, body kit. Uh, this GP9. If you look right through here, there's a rivet details here. Uh, when you want to replace it with the 48 inch fans, all you do is cut these two, cut this part right here. You can square it up or leave it round. But you want to square these ends up here first. What you want to do is tape the top of these two areas to save the rivet detail. If you can see into the body here, all you do is replace this, take and, and put plastic sheet across at the bottom here to fill in the inside. Then you're taking the glue after you cut these two parts out here. You're taking glue it in. You can may you want may want to square this. If you don't you don't actually have to if you know how to round the pieces out to make it glue a solid piece. I'll use I would use um uh twentieth uh plastic sheet uh, to glue at the bottom. I wouldn't try to make it so thick because you don't know what it, what you're going to add into the body to electronics or anything you want to put in the bottom of this thing for your wiring or your lights and everything. This is your sand hatches, and you have it also here. Make sure you save this, these rivets. Make sure you cover them up with plastic. Now on these dynamic brakes. This is the dynamic brake fan right here. This is not the cooling fan that goes right here on either side. So these cooling, this dynamic brake fan is smaller in, the, in height. So you have to raise this dynamic brake fan to fit here. These are a little bit larger than what it goes on the dynamic brakes. Now you can buy a brass part from uh, Precision Scale or any other company like Custom Finishings, but you have to raise this um, about an inch or so for the go for the cooling fans to set it for the dynamic brakes. What these fans are for. Uh, you can use a um, plastic. Uh, or you can use another part of this here to raise it. 
but he's got a ribbon details on each side of them. So I would, uh, I would extend these parts or you use another part of this and red, add the rim around this area here. But you have to look at your own photograph of what locomotive you're trying to build. And this is the, uh, I'm making a Kansas City 7164 GP9 Phase 3. Yep, a truck went by. And go, go over that again. I'm building this is the Kansas City 7 GP9 uh, Phase 3 with two 48 inch fans. Take another look at that. It goes right here to 48, two 48 inch fans.